This Mexican toddler is going viral on TikTok for crying about how she wants to be Chinese. Will she achieve her goals? Let's run the clip. I want to be Chinese. You're Mexican. No, I don't want to be Mexican. Do you speak Chinese? Yeah. I only say shisha. Maybe tomorrow you can be Chinese. This toddler attends a fully immersed trilingual school where Mandarin is one of the languages spoken, along with English and Spanish. With all the recent celebrations of Chinese New Year, she came home feeling a little left out. Oh man, this is a cute clip. I mean, this is Jose Reyes's daughter. Uh, she goes to a trilingual school, I believe in Arizona. They teach in English, Spanish, and Mandarin. And she's probably just expressing something about, he, he's saying that she felt left out possibly out of the CNY LNY celebration. Mm, well, guys, we're going to talk about it. Maybe this clip will inspire some self-hating Chinese to not hate themselves anymore. Or what does it all mean? Are more and more kids going to feel this way? Or maybe this is just not a big deal at all. Anyways, guys, please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. I would say this. It's rare to see somebody in America who's not Chinese cry about how they want to be Chinese. When I was small, you asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. I would always say Chinese. <laughs> Like, that's not even, a, not even a joke. I really wanted to grow up and be like a real Chinese man. And my parents supported me. Even a toddler, right? David, because, I know a lot of Chinese people that don't want to be Chinese. Yeah, and they're probably like crying, <laughs> honestly, wishing they were white. But uh, Or I'm, Korean, maybe. Yeah, 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 but I'm saying that you, you would say, if we were to look into like ethnic books or common second generation immigrant uh, upbringings, that people would want to fit into the majority, right? Right, right. But I guess because the majority in this particular instance, due to this new f uh, fangled movement of bilingual or trilingual schools, the dominant culture happened to be Chinese for this toddler. Yeah, I mean, maybe she's just like, I just saw the dragon. I want to be a dragon. I want to be a Chinese dragon. I want to, <laughs> like, that's how I got. it was so cute. It was just funny. Right. I mean, um, I guess we just get into the comment section. There was a lot of discussions about this going here, there, extrapolating it to a crazy level. But check out Small Last Sauce at smalllastsauce.com. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Somebody said, you know, my toddler just cried because she wanted her dad to be Michael Jordan. So <laughs> other people saying, you know, tomorrow you can be Chinese. Mine cried because they wanted to be Australian. My kid told everybody at school that his name was Chad when his real name is Jeremy. We don't even know a single person named Chad. So basically, this is like saying when a toddler, it's kind of like a grown person, but way more simplified. You know how like adults, Andrew, they might be like, man, I never really felt like a Jeremy. Chad is like a cooler name. Chad is like the cool alpha, you know, because like the word Chad is like, a, you know, the, the dude who gets all the girls, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying that the toddlers, they more like lean into that very humanistic feeling that adults might be like, yeah, but I'm Jeremy, I'm being childish. So David, are you writing this off just like it's a toddler screaming? Or maybe do you think Chinese are becoming cooler to the point where some non-Chinese actually want to be Chinese. No, that that is an interesting discussion that, let's be honest, Andrew, once the TikTok comments got a little deeper, it mm. did go there, right? Because yep. somebody was saying, oh, this is so weird and this is so random. And someone was like, no, it's not really weird or random because she's like feel going with the thing that she, she feels like she's not a part of it, but she wants to be a part of it. Right. I mean, maybe in her particular class, the more social kids are Chinese kids. Like it's possible that at that age, that there are some like, that maybe the popular kid at school is Chinese. Well, like because <laughs> just the, the fact that they even have Mandarin at the school makes right. me think that there's probably a decent amount of Chinese kids there. Yeah. But I, I will say this, I knew a lot of uh, Asian kids who grew up in the LA area around a, a lot of uh, Mexicans and Latinos. And I felt like, I don't know if they said it explicitly, but they were to hang out only with Latinos and stuff. You know what I mean? So essentially- maybe, well, You're talking about if they had Dickies and Cortez Yeah, too, maybe man. in their heart, they felt like, yo, man, I feel, just feel kind of Mexican. Right. I mean, is it just human to adapt to just the dominant yeah. society? Right? But it just is interesting because I'm saying in 2024, Andrew, dominant society in American doesn't just immediately mean just like Anglo-white society. Yeah, it doesn't mean white or even black because I feel like a lot of kids growing up do think 
you know, the things that black people do are cool. So a lot of kids. My, I had a friend, shout out black. to him. I had a friend named Matt Nielsen growing up who always told his dad he wanted to be black because he wanted to be in the NBA. I said right. his words, guys. Um, this girl said she's like our daughter. She's always wondering why we aren't Korean. And I always tell her the reason why we're not Korean is because her dad and I are Vietnamese. And then people <laughs> just said, yeah, everybody just loves like the thing. The kids, they don't know. They're not caught up in like the pride or like nah, repping nah, this thing. Nah, They're just nah, like, nah. I love K-pop. My group doesn't have K-pop. I'm Vietnamese. I wish we were K-pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it can be that simple, but it's a real feeling. I mean, just because the toddlers have that feeling, it doesn't mean it's like not real. You mean, it's, you're saying it's not that adults don't have that yeah, feeling either, I but mean, they just deal with it differently, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. You just don't take it that far. and You don't say that because you know what uh, it means. Andrew, we actually have a second cousin who lo uh, is look, sort of looks Korean, but is not Korean and goes to Korea and like takes all the mm. photos with the Han box and listen, you know what oh. I'm talking about, watches K-dramas. Way more than she watches, like, C-dramas. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's how it is. That and, works away. And I guess a lot of people are discussing about, like, oh, should she have being more pride in being Mexican or, like, be pride in being American? And, you know, this white guy was like, what country is this, huh? You going to assimilate with the enemy? You know, of course. You well, know, the she comment. didn't say she wanted to be part of the Chinese government. She just right. said she wanted to be Chinese. Um, I just think it's like... It is true that different cultures have different things, though. And if you're a kid, I know there was a video of a viral of a black kid in Atlanta saying he wanted to be Mexican. And they're like, why do you want to be Mexican? And he's like, because I love tacos and I love burritos. That's what that's, I want to eat every day. That's funny, man. I mean, that, if we can find I, that clip. Run it's that almost clip. like that kid that in that clip that you're talking about is being super, like, complimentary, but also stereotypical at the same time. <laughs> I mean, I'll just say this, man. Here's my takeaways from this video. First of all, it's an interesting video because you've never seen this happen before in America. Yeah. Not as no, a joke. A toddler speaking English. Because you know how there was like, I'm turning Japanese, I'm turning, or I want to be ninja. But those are kind of like half mocking, half yeah. appreciative. No, this girl like felt it in her soul for that moment. Like she's going to remember this point because this point in her life is now videotaped and all over the internet. But like, she's yeah. going to look back on this in a few years and be like, dang, I was really emotional about that. Right, right. Like, right. I really wanted to be Chinese in that moment. I don't think she knows what it means to be Chinese, but she really I, wanted it. I got to see how nerdy she is in a couple years. If she became... Hey, Dave, I'll tell you this. math team, she became it, Chinese. If she goes and learns Mandarin at even a conversational level, does she get the pass? Yeah. You know what it is? It's, it's just at different points. Like, dude, when I'm at parties, I wish I, I would be rather be Mexican than Chinese at a party. You know what I mean? And maybe she's in a school environment. Yeah, for sure. Like, Chinese are really in the school. Those are right. going to be your right. dominant right. whatever, you know? So, I guess it's just like, man, different people, they want to be the hot thing in that moment or yeah. in that momentary fishbowl, right? And it's just hard for us, a lot of older people, to understand how being Chinese is an advantage right now. But this toddler girl sees it from a totally different viewpoint. And I think in a way... It does add some perspective. Look at this Mexican girl in Arizona, Mexican-American girl in Arizona who's like, wants to be Chinese so bad. Does she actually want to be Chinese? Probably not, but she wants- She wanted to fit in at she, the CNY party. She wanted to fit in with a group of Chinese people for some reason very badly. And that, to me, was so adorable, but also so endearing. You know what I mean? It was so, like, sincere. Right. Not saying that she, obviously she should go on and be proud. And I always tell people this, man. I always think cultures, they are different. And yeah. you can mix and match, especially in 2024. I think cultures are going to be so fluid back and forth. Study culture, study things from this culture, that culture. Maybe you want to express yourself more Latino, more oxytocin, more expression. Mm. You know what I mean? More hugging, more kissing. Yeah. But then maybe you just... You like some things about the ancient Chinese culture. You can mix and match like uh, Sweet Factory. You make your own bag of candy at Sweet Factory. Well, you know, in a few years, if she still wants to be Chinese, I hope that she can learn Chinese. Well, and she's then, at the school. Yeah, well, I hope she's... Actually, I, she actually we better. have some people in our family that went to an immersion school. Yeah, well, shout out to her, man. This was like... When she said, she show, she show us wash your hands. How can this not put a smile on your face if you're Chinese, man? That's so funny, dude. Because... Our whole lives, we've it's been just, thinking that people are like, 
even our own yeah. well, Chinese don't want to. No, even anymore. right now, obviously, there's a lot of people who probably want to stray away from what the Chinese identity is. Obviously, there's a lot of anti-Chinese media. She's not tapped into any of that. Right. So she's kind of like just she's coming from like a blank slate. Just what she's seen has what is what she's seen in her life. She's yeah. young. She doesn't know anything else. And she's just like, I want to be Chinese. And Ni Hao Kai Lan. Dora yeah. the Explorer goes to China. Yeah, that's true. Anyways, what if, what if she said, I want to be like Constance Wu and Lo Si Lu. <laughs> Michelle, that would be, yo. Hey, that is being really Chinese in a way, though. I want to do Wu so like Michelle, yo. Wendy Day. <laughs> anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comments section below. It's a very fascinating video. Until next time, we're the Hot Bob Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.